Today, I'll give you a quick overview of Code Canvas, our cloud development environments orchestrator. Here we have project templates, predefined configurations for creating new environments. Each template specifies the IDE type, its version, the repository to clone, and the instance type used to launch the environment. Opening a template reveals more advanced options for customizing a ready-to-code environment, including a list of required IDE plugins that will be installed automatically. Warm-up capability significantly reduces environment creation time. This includes tasks like IDE indexing and running preparatory steps for the project. Warm-ups are executed ahead of time on a schedule, generating snapshots of the environments. These snapshots allow new environments to launch in just a few seconds. Even for complex projects, let's see this in action. First, launch the Gateway app, which connects to the Code Canvas server. Once connected, you can view your existing environments or request a new one based on a template. Here we select a template, enable the warm-up snapshot option, and request a new environment. This process is the same for every team member. Whether it's a seasoned developer or a new hire, everyone can start coding right away. No manual setup required. Thanks to the warm-up snapshot, even a large monolithic project that would normally take dozens of minutes to build locally can be ready in just 10 seconds. Now you see the IDE client. It delivers the same user experience and features as your local IDE. You can navigate and refactor your code, use your run configurations and debugging tools even when you run the application. In this case, launched remotely, Code Canvas automatically detects it and offers to forward traffic to your local host for debugging. Let's see how that works. I'm launching the run configuration and waiting for the project to start. The application is starting up and here I can see the ports. I know it should be accessible on port 8080. And here it is. I click on it to enable port forwarding and open it in the browser. And here we go. The remotely running application is now accessible from my local host. That's it for today. If you'd like more information about Code Canvas, please feel free to reach out.